FTC, it is 607, 37 degrees outside. Now, here's typically uh, where we take a deeper look on today's news. Now, I wanna talk about the fact that we lost some greats this week who left us with so much. But unfortunately, last night we lost one more. Uh, Marielle Franco, she's a city council member in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, who spoke out against police violence in the slums and human rights protections for the city's poorest citizens. She was shot to death Wednesday night in a suspected assassination. Now, Franco was only 38 years old. Her legacy of freedom fighting and courage already lives on as protesters have taken to the streets of Rio. Now, I wanted to highlight her today, not only because of her selfless fight, but to shine a light on how often cases like these are overlooked. Political violence is rampant in many countries. Seeing such a promising young woman murdered simply for speaking out to make other people's lives better is heartbreaking. But it's also counterproductive. They may have taken her life, but they can never silence her message and what she stood for. In fact, the fact that we're speaking about her today means her voice may be louder in death than it could have been in life. Now it's up to the rest of us to take that amplified message and awareness and make her dream a reality. Rest in power, Marielle Franco, and thank you. Give me your thoughts on Marielle Franco with the hashtag GetUpDC. All right, it is